Right now, we have Love and Hip Hop star, the most famous one on the show, Erica Dixon, right here. What's going on, love? What's going on? Everything is good. Erica, I wanted to ask you, how's the uh, how's the little one doing? How's the young one doing? Oh, my little girl is doing just fine. She's growing up for me. Aww. How old is she? She's eight. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh! Pretty soon you gotta you gotta watch out for her boyfriends and stuff, huh? <laughs> no, we're not gonna even talk about that. We're not ready for that. Right now. <laughs> yeah, my girl. There you go. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, Erica, um, of course, you know, I definitely want to congratulate you and, of course, the other cast for Eleven Hip Hop Season Two. It's been talked about all on Twitter, Instagram, everything. It's hot right now. Um, what we want to talk about. What we want to talk about is, uh, you know, of course, Scrappy, he turned himself in a few days back in Atlanta to the authorities. Um, how did you learn to deal with that kind of situation with Scrappy all in the media? I'm used to it, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been dealing with Scrappy on and off. It'll be 11 years in August, so it's, it's nothing new to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm going to be there for him 100%. I always got his back. I'm always supporting him no matter what he goes through. Mm -hmm. And, you know... I'll hold his hand and walk him with, as far as I can take him with any situation. Here's another question that I have, and this is actually a fan question. Um, do you look into doing your own talk show in the future? Um, no, I'm not a talk show type of person. That's not nothing that I see myself doing. Really? Now, go, I will definitely be on some talk Like, I'll go on some talk shows. Mm -hmm. But to actually have my own talk show, nah. What about, like, uh, another reality TV show, like, like Housewives of Atlanta type of show? I, I see. Do I see you're kind of addicted now to, to reality TV. No, I just watch um, Housewives and, of course, you know, Love and Hip Hop. I wasn't really into reality TV until, you know, I was actually on Love and Hip Hop. Definitely. Definitely. Like, I might catch, you know, stuff here and there, but I never knew what was really going on. Cause, mm -hmm. You know, I would, you know, look at it and be like, what? I don't get it. Yeah. And be like, it's, you know, too much going on for me. Nice. There you go. Can you tell me um, what's the positive outcome that you get out of doing a reality TV show? Because I know it's a lot of like downfalls in the shows and everything, but what's like a positive outcome that you get um, from doing a reality TV show? I don't even really think it's a lot of downfalls. I just think people take one thing, one thing that I wouldn't even say that it's negative because at the end of the day, it's still people's lives. Mm -hmm. If you want to say that, you know, they're not living their lives like you would live yours, then that's fine because you're not doing at the end of the day. And that's cool. But these people are exposing, you know, to their lives on TV. Now, what people get twisted is they think what they see is everything. No, it's not everything. You're seeing a glimpse of what's going on in these people's lives because at the end of the day, a lot of stuff is edited. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I wouldn't necessarily say it's not a downfall. And on a positive note, it's possible for a lot of us because a lot of us, you know, a lot of people's careers are taking off. Like, look at them now. You yeah. know, they're doing so much like Love and Hip Hop was just a platform. And they've taken that and done whatever they wanted to do. So, you know, Rashida got her, you know, she did have her boutique, but, you know, people go to hotboxy.com and, you know, that, that, that's her cash flow right there. Me and Kate. You know, see career to off. You know, you see she got a record deal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you see Brad put you know, put out an album, put out a mix CD. Like, it's helping so many people. Erica's getting ready to put out, well, I'm ready to put out my, you know, my dress line. Mm -hmm. So, it, it has really just been that platform for folks to do or pay the way for whatever folks have wanted to do. It seems like this season has a, a huge edge towards it. Like, you know, Stevie Diss and Mimi to a whole different level. Uh, Mama D and her master plans. You and Scrappy engaged. Tell us, will this go down as the best love and hip-hop season so far? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thought, like, yo, this is about to be a good season. Well, it's definitely going to be a good season. But I think season, I think season one was, you know what I'm saying, great. Really? But I think season two is going to be phenomenal because I can't you know I'm watching it like everybody else I haven't seen anything like I'm I'm a fan too I'm on the show but I'm still a loving hip hop fan you know and then a fan so I'm tuning in like everybody else trying to watch home or watch to you know one of my homegirls house or somewhere in the show at 8pm every Monday there you go there you go. Erica Dixon right here, Loving Hip Hop Season 2. ATL is out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Man, it's going to be a crazy season. Uh, here's another. Here's our last question that we have. Okay, since um, a lot of my listeners are in high school and college, tell us, what was one, okay. of, your, what was one of your craziest moments in high school, if you have one? 
Oh, I have something that is hilarious. Okay, I was just in my senior year. Mm -hmm. I was a cheerleader, mm -hmm. and we were at cheerleading practice, and we were. Um, I was a, uh, a base, so basically, you know, I lifted girls in the air, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we had this routine that we would do before we would um, before we would actually pick them up. Mm -hmm. And as I did the routine and I squatted to, you know, pick the girl up, uh -huh. I squatted at the same time. Oh. So I, <laughs> I, you know, I didn't feel it or nothing, and then it's like everybody, everybody just laughed at the same uh -huh. time, and I was like, Excuse me, y'all. Like, I apologize. I didn't know where it came from. Even the coaches. It was just like out of nowhere. You know, everybody was so focused. But it was hilarious. Uh, it was, you know, kind of broke the ice from, you know, everybody being so serious in practice. <laughs> so, yeah. That was, like, so crazy. I'm like, Definitely. it's so embarrassing, but... You know, oh happens. man, man, man! Definitely, definitely a crazy <laughs> moment for Erica Dixon. Loving hip hop. Tune in Monday nights, man. Go ahead and uh, you know, let us know where we can contact you at to all the new fans. You know, if we want to stay in touch with you. Yeah, make sure you go follow me on Twitter. It's M S Erica Dixon. Go check out my Facebook. That's M S Erica Dixon as well. Erica E R I C A. And then I want you to go Instagram. It's the same thing, Ms. Erica Dixon. And my website is www.missericadixon.com. Dress line coming soon. You will find those dresses on there. And in a couple of um, boutiques. Definitely. So look for that soon. I De will definitely let you know when that will be happening. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You already heard it. Erica Dixon right here. Congratulations on having season two of Love and Hip Hop ATL. It's going to be a crazy season. What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Erica Dixon from Love and Hip Hop ATL. And I just want y'all to know I have a secret. I love me from JL. <laughs> love you too. Have a good one, okay?